Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news that the leaders of the world's eight largest economies met in Chicago over the weekend to talk about what everyone's talking about, Greece. And they haven't come up with a breakthrough. They decided to say that Greece should stay in the euro and respect its commitments, which really doesn't solve the problem. Now everyone's waiting for the Greek elections on June the 17th, and currently the various parties are neck and neck between those in favour of the bailout and austerity and those who want to reject austerity and hopefully stay in the euro, or maybe not stay in the euro. The question for Greece is will the banks last? Will there be runs on the banks before the elections? And at the moment, Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor who really holds the key to solving the Greek crisis, she's holding the line that Greek needs more austerity. The focus now is switching towards Spain and Italy. Can they stay in the euro? Are their banks safe? And unfortunately for Italy, news of a bad earthquake in northern Italy overnight, a six-point nought which has destroyed some buildings and killed some people in northern Italy. Meanwhile, Facebook's IPO on Friday night turned out to be something of a face plant. It was flat on debut. It shares at $38, just closing just above $38. Remember, Google rose 18% on its first day. Facebook's been trading at 100 times earnings. That's just nuts. And finally, in China, where it really matters for New Zealand, Wen Xiaobao, the leader there, has come out and said he wants to focus more on growth. This suggests there may be a new easing in China. That's one for us to watch because the New Zealand dollar continues to be weak, down at 75.6 US cents this morning. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 from interest.co.nz.